The House of Representatives is all ready to go next week. They will, in fact, be passing their budget resolution, which is the first step needed in order to construct and pass bills through budget reconciliation. And if you watch this channel, you know that means they're going to put an economic stimulus relief bill together that only needs a majority vote in the Senate. So after they pass the budget resolution next week, they will very quickly start to work on the first economic stimulus relief bills under President Joe Biden. And the first bill will include the $1,400 checks to the American people and the unemployment boost. They will likely have that first bill written and passed in the weeks following the budget resolution, probably the week when the House returns back, which is February 22nd, and then they will send it off to the Senate. There is also a major push right now, especially from progressives in the House of Representatives, to have Joe Biden include recurring stimulus payments in one of the next upcoming bills. There was a letter sent off to President Joe Biden today asking for those recurring payments to be in the next bill. I will leave the link to this letter below if you want to read it yourself. And these bullet points here are really interesting. It does say any relief package must include recurring cash payments that, and it goes through a number of things it must follow, things like continuing until the economy recovers, equal payment to adults and dependents, prioritizing those who need it most, going to all immigrant workers, refugees, and their families, and then it continues on after that. Probably the recurring payments that are getting the most traction right now are for individuals who have children. There is a call for anyone who has dependents under 17 to receive $300 per dependent each month until this crisis is over. President Joe Biden is meeting with the House Budget Chairman tomorrow and the Secretary of the Treasury, and they will likely be talking about this very issue. I do believe if they are going to try and include any type of recurring payment, whether it's for child dependents or for everyone, they're going to have to figure that out before the budget resolution is passed next week. If they're going to be serious about it, they will have to figure it out at that that meeting tomorrow. We will keep you up to date if you're interested in that. I also want to address some of the comments that I've seen from you all about this upcoming bill. I think there's some concerns that you have and some different things that you've been hearing in different videos, probably on YouTube. One of the comments was that you heard on a different video that this economic stimulus relief bill is just going to be pushed through, that the Democrats are essentially going to do it without the Republicans and they're going to do it very quickly. There is some truth to that. That is, in fact, what the Democrats are actually doing right now. What Nancy Pelosi is saying by passing a budget resolution next week is basically we are setting up some of these line items in the bills to be passed through budget reconciliation in which we will not need even a single Republican in the Senate to vote for it. It only needs a simple majority. However, they still need to construct the actual bill and pass it through the House first. So although they're going to pass the budget resolution next week, the idea that they would actually have a bill already done and somehow passed during the same week is unlikely to happen. Not technically impossible, although the House of Representatives won't be back in full session until February 22nd. Weirder things have happened. But in my opinion, they're passing the resolution next week. Then they will be constructing the bill and then they will be passing it likely when the House of Representatives comes back into full session on February 22nd. And then they will be sending it off to the Senate right after that. There's also some comments about the fact that the Senate is going to be doing the impeachment trial on President Donald Trump, and this could be a problem. The impeachment trial in the Senate is going to start on February 8th. When it comes to an impeachment trial, the Senate acts like a court in which they bring evidence in and there's a lot of deliberation. This, of course, could take up a lot of their time. However, I do believe the hard deadline that they are going to push for to get the economic stimulus relief bill through the Senate, at least the one that's going to include $1,400 dollar checks and continued unemployment boost is going to be March 15th because that's when the unemployment boost is going to run out right in mid-March. So between March 1st and March 15th, if they need to take a break from the trial, if they need to take some days out to actually get this thing passed, they in fact will, and it will be through budget reconciliation. So they'll only need the Democrats to vote for it. I don't think just Democrats will actually vote for it. I think that many Republicans will in fact vote for it too. When I say many, I mean maybe five, six, seven, eight, something like that. So I do think it's going to pass. And like I told you before, get ready to pass sometime between March 1st and March 15th. If you have any other questions, please submit them below. I will try to address them on future videos, especially if I see the same thing coming up again and again, because a lot of people are concerned and hearing a lot of different information from different videos out there. And the fact of the matter is there's very good individuals out there who are reporting this information as well. And all of this stuff does sort of change and move throughout time. We hear different things and all of a sudden it 
can kind of get murky and stuff, but we'll try to keep it as clear as possible here for you and just keep you updated with the simple facts as it goes along. As always, I appreciate all of you and I will catch you next time.